hi guys once again welcome back to another android app development tutorial in this video here i'm going to show you how to set the default values for the preferences in your apps settings page also i'm going to show you how to save these default values into the apps default shared preferences file so here i already create a settings page for this application so here the settings page contain three categories storage text sms delivery report and multimedia messages delivery reports so now i'm going to show you how to set the default values for these preferences so for setting default values first step you have to specify default values within the preferences xml file itself so this is the xml file corresponding to this settings page so first here i'm going to specify default values for each of these preferences so first one is a checkbox preference so the checkbox preference accept only two values true or false so for the delete all the messages checkbox i'm going to specify the default value into true now here we have two list preferences it is the message limit it is a list preference so it accept a string value so in my string stored xml here i specify a default value it is 500 now i'm going to specify the default values for the two list preferences uh, it is limit default value now i'm going to specify the default value for the second list preference now comes to text messages it is the delivery report here we have a checkbox it accept true or false for text sms i'm going to specify default value into true but in the case of but in the case of mms i'm going to specify default value into false okay so this here we set default values within the preferences xml file itself so now we need to save these default values into the apps default shared preferences file the preferences api use the apps default shared preferences file to write and read app settings so for that you have to call a method called set default values within the on create method of your activity so here i have main activity here is the on create method so from the on create method i'm going to call a method called set default values this method will write the default settings into the app shared preferences file so preference manager dot set default value so this method need three parameter first one is context second parameter is the preference xml file here it is r.xml dot preferences and third parameter is a boolean so here i pass false for the third parameter so here the boolean parameter that means the third parameter indicating whether the default value should be set more than once if it is false the system set the default value only if the method heart has never been called before as long as the third parameter set to false you can safely call this method every time your activity starts without overriding the user's saved preferences by resetting them into default values so that is the purpose of the third parameter okay so here in this application we set default values for the preferences also we save the default values into the apps shared preferences file so we can run the project i go to the settings page so here for the first checkbox we set the default value in the true so here it is check and for the second checkbox also we set into true and for the last one 
we set that one into false that's why it is not checked here okay so now I make some change so when so here when I make some change on the settings page we already call the method from main activity and because of that one because of that when I change something in the inside the settings page the system will automatically write the settings into the app default shared preferences file so this is how we set default values for the preferences in your app settings page i hope you understand the concept for getting more android tutorial updates please subscribe this channel now thank you for watching see you in the next episode